Hello, my name is Monica and I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of the Pestel Web Beta 7 website. When you first open the site, there will already be some example issues in the drawing area. You can move issues around simply by clicking on the top or bottom sections of an issue and dragging it to its new position. When an issue is selected, the pulsing border will appear. You can change the wording of an issue by clicking on the inner section of an issue to select its text box. From there, you can delete text or type in something new. You can create new issues by selecting Issue from the menu bar. Then New Issue and selecting the type of issue you want to add to your diagram. In this case, I am adding a new economic issue. And there it is on the diagram. You can now move this issue around the drawing area as I demonstrated previously. To delete an issue, first select the issue you want to delete by clicking on the top or bottom sections. The issue will show the pulsing border to indicate that it has been selected. Now select Issue from the menu bar and select Delete. The issue will disappear. Any issue can be replicated using the clone function. As before, first select the issue, then select Issue from the menu bar, and then Clone. You can add more details and change the type of any issues through the Issue Detail form. You can open the Issue Detail form either from the menu bar using Issue, Show Details, or you can double click on the top or bottom sections of an issue. Once you have the issue's detail form open, you can change the type of an issue by using the Type pull-down. You can also add other, more detailed information to the other data fields on the form. And finally, the form can be closed using the cross box at the top right hand side of the form. Issues can be linked together using connecting lines. To link an issue to one or more others, right click on the top or bottom sections of an issue and select Link. The link form appears. From this form, you can select which other issues you wish to link to. Click the Link button for each of the issues you want to link to. The link form can be closed by clicking OK at the bottom of the form. Once items are linked together, you can edit the links. Right click on a link to display the Link Edit menu. You can change the direction of the link by selecting Change Arrow Direction. You can add a label to the link by first selecting Set Label, typing in the label you want to show on the link, then clicking on OK. You can change the connection from being a leads to into a relates to line 
by first right-clicking on the line, then selecting Relate To. The line now shows an open arrowhead at each end of the line, showing that the two issues are related, but one does not cause the other. The line type can be changed back just as easily by right-clicking on the line and selecting Lead To. Links between issues can be deleted by right-clicking on the line and selecting Delete Arrow from the menu. Once you have built your PESTO web model, you will want to produce a report of your analysis. Select File, then Report. Click on the Generate Report button to create a, a tabulated version of your analysis. This can then be copied and pasted to a document in a word processor, spreadsheet or a presentation. Now you have seen a demonstration of Pestle Web Beta 7. Why not give it a try for yourself? This is a trial beta version of the Pestle Web tool and we are very interested to get your feedback. So please do give it a try and let us know what you like, what you don't like and what improvements or enhancement you would like to see. Thank you for listening.